Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today's video, we're talking about the Painted Harvest Suite. This suite is shown on pages 48 and 49 of the Holiday Catalog. The suite includes the Painted Harvest Stamp Set, which we have right here. We have the Leaf Punch. We have the Touches of Nature Wooden Element. The 5 8 inch Burlap Ribbon. The Painted Autumn Cardstock Pack that includes Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, and Garden Green. And we also have the Painted Autumn Designer Series Paper. The paper is a package of 12 sheets with 6 double-sided designs. I have 5 of the sheets right here because my other sheets I used up. So these are 5 of the patterns. You flip it over, here are the other patterns. The sheet that I'm missing has this kind of zigzag pattern in early espresso along with this uh, wispy kind of fallish flowers and wheat-ish type things. So those are the designer series papers and I do have like I said 45 I think 45 or 46 cards to show you today so I'm going to clean this up and we're going to get started. We're going to start with an out-of-the-box idea and this is a cute little hedgehog and this little hedgehog is created by using these two stamps but basically only using half of them and then we have this for his face and then I just used a marker to hand draw in his eyes and nose. It also uses the woodland textures um, embossing folder so you get that really cool uh, tree trunk image there. I've got some burlap ribbon around this card and then we've got a cute little greeting that says you're sweet and this is from the seasonal chums stamp set. I've also got some um, old olive kind of furnish type things at the bottom here and then we've got a stitched circle shape so super cute out of the box idea I love it. Moving on to this card we've just got another circle stitched shape we've got the two-tone flowers and they're stamped in crushed curry and then we've got the middle of the flower and you can barely see a little bit of shimmer on that flower center that's from some wink of stella got a little um, touch of nature accent here the little wood piece we've got some jute twine around the back we've got the burlap background stamp we've got some of our faceted gems here just a great card all around and then this one does have some stamping in the center Moving on, we've got a color combination of what appears to be Tangerine Tango and Crushed Curry with the flowers, gorgeous. The flower middles were stamped in Versamark and then covered with copper embossing powder and heat set. We've also got some super skinny strips of copper foil sheets at the top of this main image. And then we've got our layered leaves textured impressions embossing folder back here. Really neat. Our next card uses some of the designer series paper in the background here. We've got some of the burlap ribbon. We've got some more two-tone stamping here with what I believe is Crushed Curry and Cajun Craze. Love that Cajun Craze. Some two-tone stamped leaves, which look to be um, Old Olive stamped off once and then Old Olive full strength. Moving on to this card. This also uses a piece of the Designer Series paper. So basically, you don't even need anything else but Designer Series paper and ribbon. And then a tiny little greeting here from Teeny Tiny Wishes that says Happy Thanksgiving. So the paper basically is the entire card. And this paper is just gorgeous. We've got a bow tied here with our garden green stitch set and ribbon. And then the inside has um, some more detail in it also. Moving on, we've got some more crushed curry flowers here, and then we've got some garden green leaves, and you'll see that little tiny dotted image from the stamp set is kind of randomly stamped all over the place. We've got some of the garden green satin stitched ribbon, an oval stitched shape with the greeting stamped in the center of that. Ooh, I love this one. This is a green card that uses some of the designer series paper. We've got the leaves that were stamped in the, it looks like maybe wild wasabi and garden green, and they were punched out with the leaf punch. We've got a scallop circle back here from the layering circles framelits from Calypso Coral. And then we've got some Calypso Coral, and maybe they were, it was stamped off twice, or it's possible that this lighter image and lighter color in the back could be Peekaboo Peach, which is just gorgeous. This one also has lots of Wink Estella on it, so it is just gorgeous. Another one using that same kind of yellowish designer series paper here in the background. We've got some background leaves stamped here, which looks like to be crumb cake stamped off once or twice. We've got some of our crushed curry woven ribbon here and the main flower image here was cropped out with our sunburst punch so it was stamped in crushed curry looks like there was crushed curry um, around the edges of the die cut with a sponge dauber we've got the uh, plain 
early espresso leaves here. So another great fall card. Ooh, more of the green. I just love these greens together. We've got some lemon lime twist here on the scallop circle. We've got the garden green and the vanilla. We've got this gorgeous, gorgeous metallic edged ribbon that goes along with this. Two patterns of the designer series paper and the greening stamped in garden green. Another one using some copper accents. We've got some copper foil sheet across the top here. A uh, little piece of the designer series paper. Two pieces of designer series paper coming down. We've got that really cool copper ribbon. And that stuff is really neat because you can actually separate it out and make it really wide, almost like a net. So that's a pretty cool thing that you can do with that stuff. A little bit of mini gold sequin trim uh, poking out the bottom. Got the stamped leaves cropped with the punch. And then the actual flower was hand cut. So you can do that also. We've got this card here with the burlap background stamp. This is the mini chevron ribbon. I called it something different earlier in the video on a different card, so it's mini chevron. It is, kind of looks like twill to me, so it's really cool. It's very soft, very pliable, makes great ribbons. Uh, again, that sunburst punch cut out uh, the flower, and then we've got some stamp or some sponging around the edges of that. The leaves in old olive, and um, just a great card. This one uses some rich razzleberry and some crushed curry for the main flower. A little bit of linen thread tied in a little bow with a glue dot. The leaves were stamped in emerald envy. Uh, the back one stamped off, these ones full strength. And then we've got some marker flicking here where you take your marker and flick it out of your lid and it kind of splatters all over the card. So fun little technique. Another one with that gorgeous, gorgeous yellowy background paper from the Painted Autumn Designer Series Paper Pack. Gorgeous paper. We've got our greeting here on a banner trimmed with the banner triple punch. We've got our leaves stamped in olive on olive. And then this flower was um, hand cut. Another one using the Touches of Nature wooden accents. Love those little things. You just put them on with some fine tip glue. We've got a little banner here with the greeting stamped in uh, Cajun Craze. Again, we've got that layered leaves, textured impressions embossing folder in the back here. Little strip of Designer Series Paper. And then our main flower was cut out with the stitched circle, and the flower was actually stamped in the Cajun craze. This one here, we've got some baker's twine wrapped around the whole card. We've got a couple pieces of our burlap ribbon, the greeting right there in the center, and then we've got the flower stamped in crushed curry, middles in early espresso, and then the two-tone leaves done in some garden green. Got this card here, which has got a tiny little strip of our Foil Frenzy Designer Series paper. Here it is in all its glory, the Tangerine Tango version. Just check that out. That is so cool. So just a tiny little strip of that paper just really packs a wow for this card. We've got the leaves cropped out of Early Espresso. The main flower, again, with that stitched circle shape. That's the perfect size um, die cut for this flower. It's great. Some Designer Series paper, and then our greeting here on the bottom. Another card, we've seen one similar to this one, but we've got some crumb cake as our background uh, main card base here. Again, crushed curry. Crushed curry just makes the most gorgeous flowers. A little tiny bit of our crushed curry baker's twine down here on the bottom, and the leaves were stamped in emerald envy. We've got this one here that's got some linen thread wrapped around a number of times to give that a little more interest. Uh, the main layer is put on with stamp and dimensionals. We've got some crushed curry flowers. And then those little tiny dots were kind of stamped in the center of the flowers. And we've got some more of them here. And then the leaves in Old Olive. This one is very pretty. I love the color combination on this. And I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it looks to be maybe some cherry cobbler with some Cajun craze and some crushed curry. And it appears to me that after the the, 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 the stamp was inked up, it was spritzed with water or alcohol. And then when you stamp it onto the card, it actually looks like it's been watercolored. It gets that real feathery, uh, beautiful look. The leaves look like they're done the same way. And then we've got the petal burst um, embossing folder on the background here and a bit of linen thread. So just a very pretty card. These next few cards are fancy, what I like to call a fancy fold type card. So we'll start with this one. We've seen this one before when I showed you the designer series paper. So this one just cuts or just folds up like this. And then you have the flower from the inside showing through. You still have plenty of room to write your message. We've got the large banner with the banner triple punch. The two and a half inch layering circle framelit here will die cut this. We've got some leaves and a bit of our mini gold sequin trim. Moving on to this one, um, it's fancy fold to me because when you open it up, it's got a window. So I really think that is super cool. So we've got some burlap ribbon here tied with a little bit of baker's twine. We've got the layer of Cajun craze with a um, 
scalloped circle die cut out of that. And then we've got our layer of crumb cake with another circle die cut out of that. And then the main card base, the early espresso, had another circle cut out of that. So that gives you the layering effect. And then you open up the card and you find your uh, flower stamped in crumb cake and Cajun craze. And it's covered in a wing castilla. It's just gorgeous. And then we have the little um, faceted gem there. Another cool fancy fold. Got the outer layer stamped here with leaves in soft sky. We've got a little frame created out of crumb cake here for the front of the card. Uh, one of the leaves cropped out of crumb cake after it was stamped. Uh, triple bow here done in some white baker's twine and then the um, burlap ribbon. But when you open this up, so you've got the window, and you're thinking, oh, that's the center of your card. No, it's not. It opens up again, people. So that is very cool and very, very simple. So basically, it's just two card bases. So this one's eight and a half by or eight and a half by five and a half. This one is five and a quarter by eight, folded in half, and then just stuck there in the center. So pretty cool. Another fancy fold for us. This card is actually how you would take your very vanilla layer. You would score it at one and a half. Fold that front part back, and that gives you a fancy fold. So there's a little bit of designer series paper here on the side. The colors on the front mimic the colors in the paper. We've got the Cajun craze and the soft sky flowers stamped on the front. And then look at this, the leaves punched out of vellum cardstock. Just a really nifty accent to this card. We've got some uh, stitched shaped square here, a layering square, and then the layering layered leaves, too much layering here, um, textured impressions embossing folder. Our next fancy fold uses the pine wood planks textured embossing folder. Label me pretty stamp set was used here for the greeting. Some more of the designer series paper out of the autumn package. We've got the starburst punch here, a layering circle scallop on the back, lemon lime twist and garden green colors for the flower, some lemon lime twist woven ribbon, and then when you open it up, it's got a little strip of designer series paper down here at the bottom, and then you can uh, put your message inside. And our last fancy fold this one kind of has a locking mechanism, if you will. So you open up the card, you can put your message in there. You could also put another piece of cardstock in there if you wanted to. Some of the designer series paper here on the front with some soft sky layer. We've got some of this gorgeous shimmer ribbon here. And then we've got a few pearls in the center of this. And this is a uh, Knight of Navy and uh, soft sky inks. Now we're going to move on to a couple of technique cards. This is called the Eclipse Technique. So this is a really fun technique where the images were stamped on the front of the card here. Then it was run through the big shot with the large letters framelits to cut out the letters fall. And then the letters are stacked up on dimensionals or pieces of our, uh, what are these things called? The foam adhesive strips. You can stack them up on that and that just gives a super cool effect to this card. And then the inside has uh, some more flowers and the leaves. And this is the Cajun Craze and Very Vanilla. And then Crushed Curry was also used on the flower here. Another one using that exact same technique. So you've got the stamped flowers in Night of Navy and Dapper Denim. And we've got some old olive leaves, the Crushed Curry flower middles. And then we've got the word art cut out. And this is certainly a work of art. This is gorgeous. And we've got some of that crinkle seam binding here at the bottom that's uh, kind of um, ruffled. So you would just take a piece of like tear tape adhesive, you would lay it across the bottom and you would lay your ribbon down and as you're laying it down, you're ruffling it, you're like puckering it up. So um, that's how you get that really cool look. Then we've got this little thing. This is just a kind of a treat pouch. And I do have a video for this one. I'll link that right up here. I'm in the, in the top here where you can find out how to make these cool um, treat holders or you could put a gift card in there, you could put cash, you know, whatever you want to just stick in there to slide out. And this one's got the flower stamped in crushed curry and Cajun craze. We've got a little bit of the crushed curry baker's twine that wraps around the lid. We've got some boxwood embellishments here where I just snip those in half and just put it on either side of the main focal point here and then the greeting. Now we're going to move on to a couple or a few Christmas cards. The first one here uses Emerald Envy to um, for the smaller of the two flower images. It was just stamped full strength, rotated just a little bit, stamped again. And the little berries were done in uh, Cherry Cobbler. And they are covered with Winka Stella. I think you can probably see the shimmer in that. I hope so. We've got our greeting here. We've got a lot of layers of vanilla, Cherry Cobbler, Emerald Envy. And then again, we've got that same technique where you ruffle the ribbon. Again, you just lay your tear tape adhesive down. And then as you're sticking the ribbon down, you're just ruffling it. You're just puckering it up. So pretty cool. 
We've got this one here that uses some of our musical designer series paper here on the background. We've got the uh, large letter framelits with the J and the Y, and then the O is the uh, smaller of the two flower images in this set. And then we've got Merry Christmas from Teeny Tiny Wishes on a classic label punch, I believe is what that is called. And this is Cherry Cobbler and Garden Green. Our last one uses Tranquil Tide as the green color for the card. And I've uh, got the ruffled folder back here. This is one of our um, dynamic textured impression embossing folders that you can get, and they're pretty cool. This is the ruffled one. Got a little uh, layer of cherry cobbler back there. The main image is on white with the uh, two-tone flower here done both in uh, Tranquil Tide. And then we've got the little splotches here of uh, the dots in the cherry cobbler. The greeting is from the uh, Snowflake Sentiments stamp set. And then we've got this cool um, tinsely type ribbon here to finish that off. If you guys are enjoying these cards, give the video a thumbs up. That tells me you like it and I'll make more of these kind of videos. Next, we're gonna move on to the cards that use the leaves, whether they're stamped or just punched. So this first one here just uses some of the designer series paper along with gold foil sheets just to crop out a bunch of leaves. I've got a strip of the designer series paper here. I've got a cropped circle in the background here from gold foil sheet. The starburst punch in early espresso and then the greeting stamped in early espresso on peekaboo peach. Really like that. Another one, we've just got a leaf punch out here that was stamped first with early espresso. We've got the garden trellis textured impression embossing folder in the background there. We've got a tiny a little, can you see that, enamel shape that's the heart in garden green down there, a couple of pearls, and then the greeting on top of a scallop circle. So these are uh, from the layering circles framelits. Another one using just the leaves. We've got the kind of fern imaged here in the background. I really like that. We've got a strip of the designer series paper, some of the burlap ribbon, some linen thread, the greeting here, and then we've got some of our rhinestones that were colored with our brand new Stampin' Blends markers, people. Here are our new Stampin' Blends markers, and you can use these to color all kinds of things. Rhinestones are not the only thing you can color with them. So that is a really cool technique you can use. They're permanent, um, and so the rhinestones will be green forever. Next one is a wedding card, and I'm just loving this. The designer series paper that was used on this card comes from our Year of Cheer specialty designer series paper. So we've got the um, gingham pattern here, kind of some snowflakes, some kind of uh, ferny type images here in the copper. So really, really gorgeous paper. So that mimics the shape of a present. We've got the really cool crinkled knight of navy ribbon that wraps around that. We've got the gold foil leaves and you can tell there's like um, a bone folder. The tip of a bone folder was used on each leaf to just give it some more dimension. So that is a really cool technique also. And then we've got our Mr. and Mrs. and mold, more gold foil sheets. So gorgeous. Last one with the leaves, and this one uses a lot of the different designer series papers in this package. It's got five strips of designer series paper on here. We've got the greeting surrounded by some ferns stamped in garden green. We've got a couple of just cropped out leaves from our champagne foil sheets, and then some of that burlap ribbon here. And these were cropped with the layering squares framelits. Now we're gonna move on to the cards that use some of the acorn items. Our first one uses the Acorn Designer Series paper. We've also got a scallop circle back here with some gold foil sheet, a stitched shape circle here with the greeting, a couple of those adorable little um, touches of nature elements, and then this fun uh, ribbon. It's kind of our natural ribbon with the gold uh, thread th th threads through the center of that. Really, really pretty. Next one uses the Pinewood Planks folder as the background and also has some leaves stamped in crumb cake. Got another one of those little touches of nature uh, leafy elements, some fresh fig woven ribbon. We've got the large scallop uh, layering circle here in Night of Navy, and we've got our stitched shape circle here in vanilla. We've got our three little acorns, fresh fig and crumb cake, and then the little dotted stamp in the Night of Navy um, across the top there. Next one uses some more of those adorable little acorns. The little splotches are up here. The furnish type image is here, stamped on the crumb cake layer. We've got a little strip of linen thread around that thing. And then we've got some more of the designer series paper cropped out with one of our, uh, I think this is a two and a quarter inch circle punch here. So pretty cool. Last one, got a little tiny acorn here as a little focal point. 
uh, punched out with our three quarter inch uh, handheld punch, one inch circle punch back there, the leaf image stamped and punched, some more designer series paper. Uh, we've got the polka dot folder here. Can you guys see that? Yep, I think you can. Polka dot folder on the background, stitched shaped circle, crushed curry flower, a little bit of crushed curry brushed around the edges there with a the sponge dauber. And now we're going to move into what I call non-traditional um, colors for these flowers. First one uses some berry burst. So we've got the two colors of berry, well not two colors, two shades, one stamped off, one not of berry burst. And we've got an early espresso flower middle there. Got our happy birthday greeting with a little banner and a tiny little piece of glimmer paper sticking out the bottom there. Really cool. Got some of our gold metallic thread underneath the greeting, the designer series paper, and some more of that marker flicking done around here where you just pull your marker out, uh, your stamp and write marker, not your stamp and blends, and uh, flick them out of the lid and you get that kind of splattery look there really cool. All right, this one uses Tangerine Tango for the flower images, which I thought was really pretty. A little bit of that copper uh, ribbon that we have that's really, uh, like I said, you can expand it and make it look like a net almost. The fern image is in the back on Old Olive, and then we've got our everyday label punch here um, to crop the greeting. This one uses our Peekaboo Peach along with Tangerine Tango for the flowers. We've got the uh, leaves that were stamped and cropped with the punch, and they're popped up on our mini Stampin' Dimensionals. And we've got a lot of Wincastella on these flowers. Can you guys see that shimmer? Oh my gosh, Wincastella is just amazing on these. I love it. And again, Peekaboo Peach, very pretty. This one uses um, Blushing Bride and Berry Burst for the flowers. And then we've got some gray for the flower middles. Really, really pretty. And this flower was hand cut with our paper snips. We've got some flowers that were stamped and punched, flowers that were just simply stamped, and then a great greeting to uh, help someone who's hurting. This one, we've got the flowers done in black and gray. So we've got the uh, black, uh, the larger image stamped off once, the uh, smaller image stamped full strength. We've got the flower middles done in smoky slate. We've got some of our striped ribbon here on the side, just half of it. So you've got that really, really nice um, stitched edge on here. We've got a few rhinestones to kind of give it a little bit of bling. And then the leaves were also stamped in the background in the gray. This one here uses some shades of blue. We've got the marina mist for the smaller flower here. We've got the pool party for the larger flower. We've got our leaves stamped in chocolate chip stamped off once. We've got our greeting done in Sahara sand and then the background is the Sahara sand. And uh, it looks like there's some marker flicking on here with the Wink of Stella where you would get a little Wink of Stella on your brush and flick it out of the cap and then it just kind of splatters all over. It looks really cool. And some little tiny um, pearls. Our last one, can you believe you've been with me this long? This one uses our a Blushing Bride. So we've got some full strength Blushing Bride flowers. You stamp it once, you keep twisting it a little bit, stamping it again so it gives it a really full, solid flower. We've got our leaves back here in pear pizzazz. We've got some linen thread wrapped around a couple times, a wonderful greeting, and then the uh, powder pink card base here. So that is all the cards that I have for you guys today kind of throw them back out here so you can sort of take a look at some of them. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I always have fun doing these videos. Like I said, I participate in um, some swaps for certain bundles and this month was, or last month was this bundle. And so then I have a bunch of cards and I show them to you and I hope that it inspires you to create your own cards with this stamp set because I'm assuming most of you have this because it is amazing. As always, if you need any supplies to create your own projects, I would appreciate your orders at shoppingwithbarb.com. I do offer free gifts with purchase. You can check those out at my blog at barbstamps.com. Uh, subscribe down here in the corner if you want to be notified when I upload more of these videos. I do have some more coming. So I hope you all have a wonderful day.